Good morning, everybody. Um, yeah, what I'm going to talk about today is uh, y yet another way to share our share the graphics that we produce. You know, there's lots of ways that we uh, we all do this. At the end of the day, we've got to find a way to uh, stitch together all the stuff into some kind of a cohesive presentation to people. And there's a lot of ways to do that. Obviously, sometimes you just use notebooks. Sometimes you use uh, notebook variants, maybe like uh, hex, deep note, that kind of stuff. Uh, you might use commercial software, Tableau, SAS, that kind of thing. So, you know, probably the first question that people are going to ask is, you know, why would I do this with Excel? And we'll get into that. I'm going to show you, uh, you know, how this works, uh, you know, give you a couple quick examples. And if time permits, you know, I'll, I'll go through a little quick step-by-step -step look at how things work. Um, if I don't get, have time for this, I will go ahead and uh, I will go ahead and uh, you know make all this information available on uh, GitHub, so you'll have uh, that there, the PowerPoint, the code, all that stuff. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, so why Excel? You know, as I mentioned, there's lots of other ways you do it. You know, the here's a, a Matplotlib 101 example. You know, we go ahead and just put the code into a cell. We generate the uh, you know generate the simple uh, chart, and you know if we want to, we can share this uh, notebook with a peer. Um, you know, there's also other things, you know, sometimes we like to present our work in the, uh, uh, in a, you know, internet or a web app. Uh, you know, here's just a screenshot from, uh, uh, from Dash Plotly. You know, one of the drawbacks of this is you do get into a little bit more infrastructure to worry about. You have to worry about callbacks, might have to worry about, you know, HTML, CSS, that kind of stuff. Uh, a little bit, steeper, um, you know, learning uh, to get into that, to get this stuff working. Uh, you know, there's other stuff too. Panel has thought out a real lot of, uh, of the data presentation, data visualization stuff. Again, you, you know, there's a little higher, uh, you know, cost to entry, if you will, in terms of um, infrastructure and knowledge that's required there. Uh, so why Excel? Well, you know, Excel is kind of a poor man's, uh, uh, Poor man's data dashboard, uh, if you will. You know, for the it's pretty ubiquitous. Uh, depending on where you're working, if you're in a corporate environment, you know, it's it's all over the place. There's no install to worry about. You, you know, it's very simple. You know, minimal training if people are familiar with Excel already. Uh, you know, the problem with it is trying to get the data into get the graphs into Excel, get them all sized nice. Uh, other packages have nice features for sizing things in a grid. Um, uh, Excel has stuff, but you know, not out of the box. Or so. Uh, what I'm going to show you here is a way to go ahead and try to uh, pull back your results very easily, have them sized just so, and uh, you know, have something where uh, it, they're static images, which is the downside, of course. But there's still a place for static images, I think, um, especially if you deal with you know regulatory agents, these you know uh, auditors, you know people that that really don't have the time to, uh, or inclination to sit around and try to try to explore your data. So, you know, what's a, what's great for one situation might not be so great for another situation. And, uh, you know, the, the caveat here, as I said, you know, this is by no means a replacement for the open source and commercial data viz uh, software. You know, you're limited to static uh, stuff and this is for a, a local computer in its current implementation. Okay, so what might an Excel playground for uh, Python graphics look like? And here I've got a little screenshot where I kind of highlighted. And it, it's a pretty simple thing. The concept is very similar to uh, uh, the Python uh, notebook metaphor. Uh, the difference here is that you've really got you can work with things in two dimensions. And this is kind of a this kind of hides the code when you go to present things. But there's buttons up at the top that'll let you toggle back and forth between. Uh, between the code and the actual images that get get generated here. So the concept here is rather than generating uh, rather than generating images that kind of just appear sequentially below your cells, in here you still use cells and you can resize the Excel uh, cells to uh, hold your code and you use it to specify what you want uh, the size of your image to be. So you can go ahead and um, you know, put a bunch of images together into a, a long scrolling spreadsheet. You know, you could scroll horizontally, you can scroll uh, vertically. So you've got the two dimensions there. 
And, uh, you know, the only difference to the code you'll see highlighted in the box here is that we we go ahead and we add a couple of other features here. There's uh, two variables that get created automatically by an Excel macro, Excel width and Excel height. And what that does is it allows you, uh, the macro will automatically set those to the size of the cell that the code is embedded in. So in that way, uh, you know, Python can go ahead and generate, um, can generate cells that are precisely size will fit right over this. And we'll see how that looks in a second. Uh, the second thing is instead of showing the data right away, uh, showing the graphs, you go ahead and save it to a chart. In this Excel image, it's just it's just something that'll be used to uh, you know save a unique file for each of the charts that you generate. You can specify you know what the resolution looks like, that kind of thing. Okay, so oops, let me go back here real second. Uh, you know I'm, I've got a call out here for toolbar buttons. One of those is uh, to draw the charts that are in your uh, that are in your workbook. Here, I've only got one chart in this sheet. So uh, when I hit that button, what's going to do is it's going to go off, submit your code to Python, uh, which is going to create images, the macro will fetch them and place it over the, uh, you know, over the code that produced it. So, so that's the basic concept. Um, I think I covered all of this, some of the details about the macros. Again, this stuff will be out on GitHub. Here's, here's what it might look like. I've just taken the same chart here and uh, replicated the code three times. You know, you can either copy the code or you can use formulas. That's one of the interesting things with uh, Excel. You can locate the code anywhere and just reference it in a cell just with this uh, formula reference. Uh, you can go ahead and take here. I've taken the first chart and I've spanned two cells with it. And then I just repeated it. This just for illustration purposes, you know, just... Uh, just uh, replicated it two times with half the height. So when you hit the when you hit the uh, produce charts button here, you know you'll get back something like this. So you can see that you can go ahead and build you know a kind of a two dimensional grid of your uh, of charts. Um, moving along here to more realistic uh, use cases, you know here I just went ahead and took a bunch of uh, uh, you know just used the cars data set and uh, used uh, Matplotlib. It just created uh, five, five uh, pieces, five code segments here to generate graphics. You know, hit the button, and it's going to come back, and you're going to have them all, you know, kind of precisely, you know, size there. And you get an, a nice little thing that you can share with people. You can email it. Um, you know, the, the person you send it to won't need an infrastructure to get to it. So uh, it's good when it works, not so good when it doesn't work. But uh, you know, it's a, it's an easy way to to get things going and sharing that's going to work. Uh, you know, here, you know, you're not limited to one graphics framework here. I just created some Plotly things. You know, you just have a different import statement, bring in a different package, uh, you know, hit it and you can get, you know, some of the, the pretty charts that, you know, Plotly affords. Um, and then as a final example here, I'm just going to show how you can go ahead and, you know, do some more elaborate things. I think one of the things, this was a visualization earlier this year in the New York Times. And uh, it's, uh, you know, it's interesting, just a, a cartogram of the uh, COVID counts across the state showing how the, uh, you know, a, a surge came up at the beginning of the year here. So I just uh, showing how you could recreate that with Excel with very little code. Uh, here, you know, you just go ahead, you, uh, I've got the actual code is up here in the state of, whoops. I've got the actual code here is in the state of Maine. Uh, I'll show you the code in a second. But then in the subsequent, you know, 51, uh, I think I got DC in here, the subsequent 51 uh, states, you can just do a reference to a, to a, uh, uh, a Python um, function that's in there that'll plot each of the individual things. So, you know, just lay this thing out and you can use your, your, uh, your, your Excel tricks to get that going. You hit the, uh, you can use the uh, unused cells to put in commentary. And then when you hit the, um, when you hit the button uh, to produce the chart, you know, you get back something like this, which is a reasonable facsimile, I think for the New York Times graphic and pretty easy to do. I'll show you the uh, Python code that's used here. So as you can see, it's only like 20 lines of code. So it's it's pretty straightforward if you've tried to stitch together other stuff. And if you want to have some leeway with how you can lay out things, uh, it's a pretty easy way to do things, I think. Anyway, I don't think we're going to have a lot of time to get into how the rest of this stuff works. Basically, you know, you've just got up at the top, I've got a, a Python session running in uh, Windows PowerShell here. 
I've got uh, you know the Excel code here. When when I hit the button, you know it, it goes ahead and if I if I get lucky here, it'll run. Um, yeah, it'll go ahead and just produce stuff as I showed there. So, like I said, there's some other stuff here. We don't have time for it. I've got the actual Excel code that does this. It's only, you know, like 50, 50 75 lines of code. I'll publish this out on um, GitHub. And that's all I've got. Thanks for, uh, thanks for attending and enjoy the rest of the conference.